What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fun Wit Dumb. We are here joined today with our regulars and our favorites. Uh, lyrics, a.k.a. Hi. Rick Lee, a.k.a. The Masked Chef, a.k.a. Number 8 for the Virginia Slims. Rick Lee. How you guys doing? Virginia Slims. And Virginia <laughs> Slims, get the fuck out of here. I appreciate that. That was though. great. That was and funny. then we also have one of our regulars here, Rex Dizzy, the Frog Prince. What else? The Animal Crosser. Animal Crosser. I feel like a beauty queen. The Head Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, I look like a camp counselor for a vape for vape nation. <laughs> <laughs> vape nation. And of course, on the ones and twos, the Twitch decks, we got Tony K Films. Yes, AKA Tony K Fucks. <laughs> AKA, Tony K Foster. Tony K Fucks. <laughs> uh, but and I, I'm your host, dumbfounded. And it is a day after Mother's Day. I hope everybody had a good Mother's Day weekend. Ma. I did not see my mom yet. I'm going to see her right after this podcast. Um, I'm going to go visit her. <clears throat> what are your plans? Uh, my plans are to bring her dinner and flowers. Bring her dinner? Yeah, I'm going to bring her dinner and flowers. You're not taking her out to dinner. You're bringing dinner to Why would, Where would I take her out to dinner? I forgot. This is post-corona, <laughs> buddy. I forgot. Um, usually, I mean, I, usually I would not go over there just in case of infecting an elderly, but she swears she is not too old right. to catch it oh and uh, be affected God. by it. So, yo, she's, she's pretty, healthy, man. She's like I a know, young she, spring chick. She 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 she's like right, a virgin. Right. No, yo, she's... Whoa, 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 whoa. First of Day all, I was offended by mother's spring <laughs> chicken. <laughs> and then he went to virgin. virgin. Jesus. Yo, come on, dude. You called his mom a spring chicken. Let's be real, though. When all the people are posting hot, up. Yeah. When the, no, not oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That was not what I was implying. What I'm saying is a lot of people are posting up pictures of their mom. And let's it's like be the real. Young picture. People were thinking like, oh, your, your, your mom can get it. Which yeah. one? People have yeah. even commented that on people's pictures. That's, oh, a, yeah, that's yeah. inappropriate. That's inappropriate. Have that's you inappropriate. done that before? Just you fucking say my name, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the fucked up thing about commenting your mom can get it on a picture is like your mom doesn't mind. That's the fucked <laughs> yeah, up thing yeah. about those goddamn comments. Oh, TV. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's the fucked up thing that's for sure. That's the fucked up thing. <laughs> my mom has I, I, one I Instagram out. follower and it's Rex Dizzy, dude. <laughs> oh, stop <laughs> following my yeah, mom. I think, I think Rex follows my mom, too. <laughs> Yo, that shit gets me pissed, mom, bro. Dude. That stop, shit pisses me off. Stop following me first. Oh, spring chicken. What do you, what are you Both gonna, your moms are really cute. I, my mom's cute too. Like we got cute moms. Yeah, we all got cute. Yeah, moms. there's a difference. Between I have to throw my mom in there. I throw my mom in there because both y'all like no, this face I'm saying, crazy just now. Come on, come on. It just gets inappropriate though when you say your mom could get it. There's a cute <laughs> to yeah, your yeah, mom sure. could get it. That's not the same yeah. thing, bro. Fuck Mary Kill. No, I'm kidding. What the fuck? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's <laughs> We're go. not doing that I'm with our moms, saying. bro. Chill. Happy right. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Stop. Stop. We have a very sick and twisted way of celebrating Mother's Day. Apparently. Um, uh, you guys call her, you guys called your moms, right? Yeah. Don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> I was <now>. there. <laughs> <laughs> y'all had a, you had a, you prayed with her and shit. Yeah. What is okay? What is the, uh, you know, co- by coastal situation look like for you and your mom? Like when you on Mother's Day. I miss my mom, man. She I'm works sure. too much. She's Show. going out to the cleaners, making uh, masks for people right now. That's mm. her new side hustle. You know, she takes over like. Uh, uh, extra fabric from the alterations and then mm. she just like uh, you know makes custom masks for people with eucalyptus like essential oils inside and all that I don't yeah. know how <laughs> how good it is for people but it's it's a beautiful thing you know yeah so how did the calls happen with you? <laughs> <laughs> I plugged the mask. I don't know what the I hell just happened right there. I don't know. Nice he brought us he sucked me in. I saw I, his yeah, mom yeah. like working. I had no idea that question would lead to the word eucalyptus. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it did. I don't want to have eucalyptus come out of your mouth unless you're a koala. <laughs> oh, my okay, God. Okay, so, so you got on a call and just wished her a very happy Mother's Day. Yeah, man. Okay. Quick prayer. Okay, quick prayer. Yeah. I called my mom when I was hanging out with you guys, so y'all know how that went. Was that the first time the yesterday that you called her? Yeah, I don't call my mom multiple times a day. You do, I mean, but you, you call, do talk to her a lot. You screenshotted I her. I wish like- I can. I wish I did. But I've been, I've been having longer conversations with my mom. Like, you know, like when your mom is like, all right, I know you're busy, you know? I'd be like, I'm not busy. <laughs> like, tell me, like. 
Spill the tea. Like, what's good? Like, Damn, what, what's going crazy, on? Damn, that's crazy. Because usually you want to like push her off the phone, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Off I've been call. I've been trying to like keep her on the phone, and that's I, I, that's that's something I've been working on too. Yeah, I we we've been on hour long phone calls. What do you guys and, talk about? Like, how does it start? Because for for a lot of people out there, it's kind of difficult <clears throat> and awkward to talk to their mom. Well, you know, first I, I at first I defuse her because she because you know She's most pissed. of most of our moms, especially Korean moms, they want to just their first instinct is to just um, be right. Yeah, you know, discipline or right, uh, right, right. What's ah oh, fuck? What's the word? Chanzori, hmm. yeah, chanzori. Yeah. How do you? That's like nagging. lecture, nag, nagging, nagging yeah, lecture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she immediately goes to that, but she. Oh, but I know that what she wants to really say is, "I miss you, I love you, blah blah." blah you know, but right, that's her right. way. So I just diffuse that, and then we get to giggles. We get wow. like I start, you know, she roast me, and she's like, "I can't believe my son is a mess." <laughs> 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 Shit like that, and then you know. What does that sound like in Korean? <laughs> She'll say it in a, in English, so I really understand what I she's like. saying. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> no, she's wow. like, she's like, I raised my son. He used to be so cute and wonderful boy. Yeah. <laughs> now he's a mess. <laughs> my life is a mess because of my boy. That's pretty much my bad rap segment. She doesn't think you're, she doesn't think you're like, cute anymore. Nah, she. I mean, you know, she likes. I I I troll her like like during like whenever we take pictures together. I, there's no. Past a certain point, there's no good picture of just me and my mom just smiling regularly. It's yeah, all yeah. just me. Going, I gotta up- <laughs> right, right. I gotta update some of my photos with my mom and my sister too. I don't have many. I've been recycling the same Mother's Day pictures just, for years. Yeah, <laughs> just for the gram, huh? Damn. <laughs> so how did uh, I, I hope one day my mom learns the internet so she can know how much I love her. My mom is so internet <laughs> right, savvy, right. dude. My is mom she? is so internet savvy, dude. She, is she really? <laughs> yeah. Before you know, I really started taking this rapture seriously. I didn't tell her. And then, like, she found my... She was already sending my music videos to, like, family members and shit. Wow. She's which, like, which video? I'm fucking curious. God bless America. <laughs> oh, my God. She even knows how the Bell's currency exchange works on wow. Animal Crossing. Probably on Animal Crossing. For her. Animal Crossing probably sick. Probably, she has her own island. She's like, I'm watching you. Right. <laughs> One way or the other. It's like, uh, pull up. I got turnip prices. I, I was wondering with your mom, like, when she, when, you ta- when she called in yesterday and you were like, you turned the phone to us. You were like, oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, here's Rick and John. There was a reaction. She I was calls in, Lyric him Lyric. Yeah, yeah. And I wasn't sure what the reaction was she was like like there was like a weird <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> oh no she was she, she loves seeing you guys oh you know? okay okay yeah you, she's like I these guys like though. their brothers she calls you lyric though i know parents why? never I really never remember names i feel like of your You're friends do they <laughs> they never really fully remember the names of your friends like she says thumb thumb panda thumb pa that's pretty close yeah yeah, yeah. she doesn't say john because we always call no. him dumb yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, who's john yeah. I think my mom knows both your names, right? Yeah. John is that fake that fake shit from the press releases of, of whenever he's on like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> deadline. John actor John Park. <laughs> Fuck you spelled your name J O N What are you fucking <laughs> What are you Garfield's I, caretaker? I actually one day considered to John J E A N like the French pronunciation. It, no. Okay, but I was like, nah, so that's that's a little stretch. J A N J E A N like oh Jean. Oh my god. Okay, bro. okay, I'll stop. But my mom calls you know, she when you pronounce Rick for Korean pronunciation, they say Lee. like Rick. Oh, did, okay. So they say rec. <laughs> yeah. So when it goes to rec, it's rack. <laughs> it, <laughs> it goes, goes even worse. deeper goes into even the worse. translation. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The pronunciation. But yeah, I mean, um, do you guys ever like ship out a gift to your parents or not? I have. If I do that, it's either like someone delivers it to them, you know, never like hey, mail. Hey, prayers don't count, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no. I have someone Amazon in Virginia prayers. that I'll drive. <laughs> I have someone in Virginia that I'll drive it to them. You know, oh, okay, okay. Not like parcels and stuff like Fucking that. Fucking disciples. You send everywhere. your. You send your. <laughs> guys, do you guys? Hey, okay. Expe- why don't you explain your disciples? Well, actually. can I explain? Okay, first yeah, of all, good. I don't. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I don't, I don't no, call no, no, them no, no. disciples. Okay, we're not gonna slander. I don't them. call them disciples. Yeah, okay, guys. I, I call them something slash disciples. You guys don't understand that Rick has a network of disciples i even saw <laughs> an application process that he had that he wrote out and then on the this shit was like you have to have you have to be god fearing or some shit and then you also said you have to have to know how to clean an automatic weapon set. <laughs> <laughs> you must have ammunition on you okay. at all times yes so, so yes yeah how do you remember so, that? so he'll have like he'll have like disciples like kind of do like Random tasks for him, I guess, because like he's like, I guess, building a cult. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then yo, I kid you not, like, uh, we went to the bay for that show. Uh, one of his disciples showed up, and then 
they just talk for hours and then <laughs> about like his problems and so he like really takes care of them and they take care of him it's a really really a odd what the difference between a fan a friend and a disciple. It's like is. a BDSM thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's no, their no, master. No. He's like, there's, there's, there's a mutual top? respect. All right. First of all, calling them disciples makes it sound like I'm on top of them. You know, it's not like that. It's just a network of I help you out, you help me out. You know, and it's, I, I believe in <laughs> karma. I believe in a little give and pull. And uh, yeah, so everywhere I go, Wait, I'm, you like just you said two <laughs> statements. Mm -hmm. You help me out, I help you out. <laughs> Give and pull. <laughs> <laughs> he, also said, he also said, I'm not on top of them. Are you, a, are you a porn director and they're <laughs> sitting on your casting couch? What the fuck is going He's on? He's doing something to them. All right. It's it's all love, man. It's okay. all love. Yes. Okay, it's all love. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, I got little disciples. Uh, all across the country all. or the world? The world, fam. What the fuck? Don't disrespect <laughs> me like that. Go oh, on, the man. world. Global, baby. Global. How about oh, Ecuador? Yeah. Ecuador? Juan. <laughs> no, I got someone. I, I, I promise you. I promise if you. If you don't have a wand, I'm calling you up for your yeah, racism. Yeah. You better have a fucking wand. I have a You wand, better have dude. a wand I in Ecuador. It, nah, it was I like a, I thought it was a double entendre. Like he has one. <laughs> name is Juan. Oh man, whatever you need, Tony. Yo, oh, I got I got good. a haircut recently, guys. No, you didn't. <laughs> 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 it looks like next to my pastor. Yesterday right now. I was I was filming this video like at the crib and then I like I was like, yo, my sideburns are out of control, so I just went like a <laughs> little bit. You yeah. cut your own? Dude, that's what bit. happened I, to me. Know, don't, don't do what I, I did. I just I just trimmed it a little bit. Right, right. I feel pretty good about that. It looks good, man. Is this Yeah. It looks beautiful, bro. I have like that sh that Kanye shag. Remember when he did that? Mm-hmm. Rick just shaved it off. Looks like there's different, you know. It looks good, patterns. man. I'm just, you know, you I just like feel like a fucking bulldog. You look yeah. like um, what's that mole? That cartoon mole. The mole? Don't yeah. say Diglett again, dude. <laughs> you call me Diglett one more time. You call my thumb Diglett. You call me come on, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is very liberating. You wake up, you have nothing to do. I think it's a good look. Yo, press one if you like Rick's new haircut right now. If you don't and you like the previous hairstyle, press two. In I mean, the what chat. the fuck are they gonna? Do? What am I gonna do about that? <laughs> yeah, press six 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 to which that comes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, it looks like want? mostly ones. There's three twos. Really? <laughs> who are they? Who are they? Um. So where if, if people would like to be a part of your discipleship, yeah, where would they have to? I'll have an online submission soon, like after coronavirus. Because there's no way that I could tell a person through Zoom. I have to get face to face. You know what I mean? Yeah. I need to hold the wrist. Why? Why? It. What? Why are people so drawn to you and willing to join your discipleship? You think in general? Globally. It's not my discipleship. This is oh, this is a yeah, community. This is a system that's been go ongoing for about six hundred six. He's lying out of his fucking ass. No, you know piss your disciples. No, they're be. not pissed, dude. They understand right now. You know what it is is pretty much is every time I go out. You know how in our in our group of friends, I'm always yeah. known as like the guy that you know. What do you always say? You're just like, yo, why are you bringing? I'm always you know just with a lot of different types of people, and these people. You know, they remember that. They're like, damn, I chill with this guy. We went to the after party. He took me to the after after party. Then he then I then I cook for him. So is it a way to kind of break the the, the wall between fan and artist <clears throat> and make it more of a family in a well, way? Yeah, at the end of a show and then we party with them or we chill with them. I, or <laughs> even these some people I haven't met, you could just have this relationship. You kinda of get to know who they are. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you realize that some of these people just want to be heard, man. You know? They have a lot of little little uh indecencies in their life and they're trying you're trying to get rid of those things and then when you help them get rid of that and then you meet them in real life yeah they want to kind of reciprocate in their own way you know i'm and gonna usually, look up the definition of disciple that's it like says meat sauce a or personal like, follower of jesus during his life especially exactly, one of the no 12 way. apostles so he's saying he's jesus no I'm not, <laughs> he's, he's claiming he's no jesus. no i'm not saying i have disciples I'm just saying I have a disciple. It's a, the, 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 basic, <laughs> the basic definition is one who accepts and assists in spreading the doctrines of another. Okay. So you want okay. a team to spread your doctrine. What are your doctrines? Where's my assist? doctrine? Yo, I'm just alley-ooping the, the real doctrine. Oh, uh, okay. Dude. I yeah, see. Yeah, okay. I have no, I don't have t stone tablets of my own, bro. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. walking around and I'm just showing love to everybody. He just has two ones... composition notebooks. <laughs> 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 Filled with rhymes. College rules, right? Rule. Yeah, In the temple of hip-hop. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a slave to a page of my rhyme book. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Nah, but come God. on, dude. I mean, has it not assisted us in our on our on our journeys, dude? My disciples come through all the time, you know. Whether yeah. it's 
violence or extracurricular, whatever you need, some they're, of they're your, always there for you. you know, some of your disciples look like serial killers. And most of them are, <laughs> you know? But it's good. It's not that they'll catch a body or I'll catch a body I for them. I will say it's that is kind of who you body. want on your team. People who look like serial killers. Okay, that's why I have you on my team. You need one. Yeah. <laughs> JL is the, I'm not the serial killer. I'm the llama. JL's the one JL's with the fucking a good, JL's a good no, fighter, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's a good fighter. I think, I, yeah, JL definitely has like. He has serial killer, but he like has black gloves he, no, on No, he has no the reason. eyes of a Korean enraged Korean dad. <laughs> If you got that hair, that, that hair yo, that comes down, fuck like, it. yeah, come on. He's the, the real uh, uh, fucking Shang Tsung. No, the monk, the um, old, boy. old boy, old boy. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. But his is more conditioned because his girl's a hairstylist. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I just actually looked the mic for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, sorry guys. Um, ASMR. Uh, oh, let's, talk, let's keep talking about our moms. Oh, okay, okay. All right, going back to our moms. <laughs> talk to your mom. Talk uh, about your mom. Do you think our moms would get along actually? Our moms have never talked to each other, right? Mm, my mom will not get along with your mom. Have our moms so. come to a premiere of Bad Rap where they met or something? I'm no, trying to think. No, no. I think our moms could, would get. Oh, our very, moms very, would like, love each other, yeah, dude. Like wait, 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 wait. Why no, no, my no. mom? <laughs> because you know they'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> why would? Why? No, 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 they'll be like. <laughs> Wait, wait, like, why? <laughs> <laughs> That's what my mom My mom's was. from the church too. She used to go to church. She's from well, the church. Well, hype trade and incoming, what does that mean? It, it means it's it's just, just, uh, it's just, we got, we got. <laughs> 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 why not do it? No, nah, no, nah, my mom just would love your mom. Bro. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, my mom would love your mom, for sure. Okay, so, uh, so well, our moms have never met. Hell One no. day we should do a full episode. It's just us, th- uh, them three talking in the <laughs> about pod. us. Oh, just them, dude. Just, we won't even. So well, we, well, we have to. Ch- we have to be here to moderate. Should we be all all, all yeah. three of us then? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Momcast. Momcast. Okay. That, that'd, that'd be, be good. We gotta do that. Let's do that one. That'd be good. They'll be like, "Bo." <laughs> <laughs> so both your moms still go to church. <laughs> yeah. How are they doing the Zoom church? Are they doing Zoom church? I right don't now? actually don't know. No, they're doing just like uh, you know online seminars and stuff like that there's uh, online uh oh they are tuning in though yeah but it's not like zoom meetings where they're all you know they're just watching the broadcast happen right and you know my parents church was so small that they probably didn't have the technology to do that so they're you know tuning into someone else right now Mm. but yeah that was hard that hump of not having them go to a physical church during this time but just you know keeping it on the computer but they're loving it man you know yeah um, somebody in the chat said, um, do a hotbox episode with the moms. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, man. That what would it, actually be fire. What it, would be have fire. you ever been high in what front it, of your parents? Before? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, but what, yeah. are your, what are your parents like thoughts on like weed and shit? But they don't care no more. They used to. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like you get older and you're like, could they really give a fuck? No, no, like, no, 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 no. I think you misunderstand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. About them doing it. Them, um, my mom has smoked weed before. My my sister gave her an edible too. She was scared. She didn't like it. Damn. Yeah. She said she got like way too high. It was like she's like, oh no more you know? Like yeah. she said it was too dizzy. Yeah, my mom like, says that shit. She didn't too. like it. I Whoa, think it's just because your mom smoked too. But I think she needs to she do does, a one more. Uh, she does like CBD. What? I think she needs to do one more time though. Like just you know what I mean? Yeah, that yeah, first no. time's yeah, always yeah, yeah. intense. Edible you know? is like, fucking crazy. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edible is next level. I can't though. even do that Edible is like yeah. First time's intense. I think you gotta start knowing your your limits and then just hitting it. A little bit. Like How about your mom? <laughs> I suspect she's open to it. I've I've talked mm. to her so much, uh, like, cause I, I I think everyone should like like me. I don't smoke weed like that. I don't I don't want. I'm not interested in getting high again. I used to be a pothead, but I still think everyone should at least try it, cause it right. opens up your perspective. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, it right. Just instantly, you get more perspective and and you you think outside your head. You think Damn. so? Imagine yeah. your parents experiencing shrooms or acid, bro. Yeah. yeah. I got <laughs> ayahuasca. I kind of want my mom to do shrooms, low key. I think everyone should. I don't. One time, the first time you did shrooms, didn't you feel like it changed your fucking life? And there's two different types of people in this world: people who've tried shrooms and people who haven't. That's how I felt. <laughs> it's um, not that. You I know feel, when I, I feel that when I did shrooms, shrooms changed my life, low key. Yeah. I did it freshman every year. Every time, high school, I, every time I'm on shrooms, I'm like, dude, everyone should shroom at least once in their life. Every time I'm on it, I'm just like, yo, like for sure. <laughs> my my first shroom experience was kind of mellow, cause like, okay, when I used to do drugs, try new drugs all the time, it was during school. 
<laughs> I would do it during lunch. Like I tried, I tried ecstasy for the first time during school. Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> I did uh, shrooms. I did acid during school. I did um, just everything. Did K. I, I did K, and then I went to the ele school elevator with my boy, and we we're like, we're melting. On Wait, the what wall. the fuck? Where would you do this at? <clears throat> on the hill. There's this hill. I I went to Bronx Science for those from All New right. York. All right. <laughs> and there was a hill called Harris Field. And nowadays, it's like the clean, the school got cleaned up, right? But then back then, the whole field was mad, like, 40s. mad kids just in circles. Just, right. like, smoking, drinking, doing whatever the fuck they right. want. That's crazy. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so, like, my first experience was kind of mellow. I was, like, smoking weed, too, at the same time. I, I put on a bagel and just <laughs> ate that shit. <laughs> right. So then I think the by the second time, it was like, yo, remember I fucking... Did shrooms? I, I did shrooms at a fucking house party, cause um, our homie was fucking going around like, "Yo, everybody, oh, take, yeah, a, yeah, take a yeah, free. yeah, yeah." And then and I, you were I was like, like really fucked up already, right? Or yeah, something? and I was like, oh, "Okay," I, was, I felt like fucking Will Ferrell in, in old yeah, school. Yeah, cause no I one was else like, did Everyone's it. doing it. All right, I took it. <laughs> and nobody, nobody did it. I was <laughs> no, the only one on I shrooms. I don't remember that. Wow. What party was that? I forget what the party that I was. I don't know, man, but. Yo, I was tripping balls, and then you and Danny, we were, I was with you and Danny, and you guys, for some reason that night, just wanted to go everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> usually, usually, we chill at one spot for a long time. These guys went, oh, let's go to this bar, let's go here, let's go eat here. I was like, <laughs> yo, they just kept getting further and further walking, and then I was like, I was like, uh, oh my god. Oh, that was also another moment down. recently, but we won't talk about that, that you accidentally did one drug thing, and it was the other. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Was that, that my was, fault? That was, was your that, fault. That was my fault, right? Yeah, you handed him the wrong shit. I gave shit. him the Advil yeah. instead of Tylenol. It's all good, dude. <laughs> the, 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 the initial look on your face was so <laughs> good. <laughs> Yo, I have a similar shroom story, dude. So when I first uh, brought JL out to shoot uh, YOX, the, the, uh, the Yak song, mm -hmm. Denkum. Remember Denkum? Oh, thank him. Dude, he was like, I have the illest, like during the video <laughs> shoot, he's like, I have the illest shrooms, man. So for the last scene, let's all take it and trip the fuck out and make this crazy. Right? We're, just like, we're like, wait, what? I can <laughs> imagine him saying but that in my exactly mind. Yeah. I'm just like, you know, That's this, is, this is. He said it like literally, like what you guys are going to see is going to be recorded for the music video. <laughs> right, right. He's like, Put we're going to get input. the illest shots, guys. Yo, so, you, you see know, him just like this. We're working hard. <laughs> we go to like a empty like construction site and then we go to like the part, place with the bars. And then we go into these woods. He takes us to like this Joshua tree looking spot, right? And then Fuck. he's driving up. It's like a dirt pathway in the forest. And he's like, yo, man, you guys ready? It's just going to be crazy. And he takes it out. And then we're like, oh, shit. You know, I'm like, this is tight because we're in a music video shoot. Yax in L.A. for the first time. So I take a cab, give it to jail. He's like hesitant. But he's like, all right, we're all taking it. <laughs> we take it. Oh, my God. We give it back to Denko. Everyone's doing it. And we're, walk and we're walking to the uh, site. And I'm like feeling it now. I'm like, oh shit! Like I'm, I'm like tripping out a little bit, and I'm like, Jay, you feel this? He's like, yeah. He's like, Denkum, you feel that? He's like, I ain't taking that shit. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yo, he's like, I ain't taking that shit. You crazy? We gotta work. <laughs> oh we gotta God. work. And bro, so, we gotta work. <laughs> so in that music video, it's you know the all the scenes of me like sitting in the tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was tripping my balls. Wait, off, people can man. see this video right now. Yeah, Y O X. Y O X video. The, yo, you know, you now rocking with the Yox. Yeah. That last scene, Jail and I are tripping balls, man. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. You guys did look like you were. Yo, that shit was folk wild. hyper focused. That was a huge thing when when Rec and Rick both lived on the East Coast in New York City, and mm -hmm. then I I would just visit New York for shows or whatever. Like we had a routine where we would all link up together. Um, and Danny too from Philly and right. our thing for some reason for a while was like getting Molly and doing Molly in New York. It was for like special occasions though. It wasn't like every time we met up we always got Molly. Well, I mean, it, I only came once in a while, so I feel right, like that's right. what we did. Once, do you remember the limo? Yeah. yeah so <laughs> oh my! Gosh. I remember one time we went to a club in New York City. We all popped Molly, so we're all fucking rolling our asses off like with like ten people. No, this is dumb. Before he takes it, he's like. Take care of me. <laughs> <laughs> he puts it. I think the biggest thing that I, I I say when I'm on Molly is take care of me. Yeah. I get really scared every, and goofy every and shit. That I'm so right there, yo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that the video that, that happened in? Okay. So what happened is we took the fucking Molly and um, 
we like, let's go to the next spot. We dip out of the club, and on the block, we see a guy waiting by the limo, and he's like, anyone want to ride a limo? <laughs> limo, limo. So we're like, how much? Yeah. How much to go down six blocks? <laughs> he's like, $250. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> it's like a ridiculous amount oh for like going down six blocks. We hop in, oh, and I'm fucking rolling. I'm like, I want to make a toast. I want to make a toast. You and that's made, like, the thing I do. Toasts. When I'm rolling, I always make a oh fucking my toast. Oh, my God. Just like a toast to the toast. I'm the toast master. I'm, I'm fucking rolling. I'm like, I fucking love everyone. <laughs> you Someone. went down the line and said something nice yeah. about everybody. <laughs> And before I even got to the last person, they're like, we're here. <laughs> it was six blocks. There was like two people. <laughs> oh, my no, God. No, no, no. I'm waiting for what you always say. What? It's like, Asians. <laughs> <laughs> we're finally going to, we're making it. Oh, we're making some shit. <laughs> There's you always wrote, a mama, you, wrote that 88, you wrote that 88 Rising Manifesto in that <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh Oh uh, my gosh Good um, times Good times Hey so For people who've never done um, Ecstasy or Molly Let's uh, let's kind of break down How it feels like, <laughs> I, I will say Okay so when you I first do it I feel like mad it, people did it But uh, <clears throat> When you first do it Like People are like They're like Yo when's it gonna kick in When's it gonna kick in You just gotta wait and then the music, you just start getting sensitive to music, to feelings, to like everything feels good. Like cracking your knuckles feels good, burping feels good. You went to Mother's Day cracking to Molly, your huh? back right. feels good. Yeah. <laughs> no, let's go. Let's dive into anyway, it. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. <laughs> no, no, but exactly what you're saying. And things and things feel epic. Like it. Like you ever watch 300? You know the the cinematic. Mm-hmm. You know quality of that shit. <laughs> half That's naked how dudes, it feels. 300 half naked dudes <laughs> feel. <laughs> Sparta kicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got you. Keep going. <laughs> uh, <laughs> keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, Air yeah, brushed. and, and uh, it feels like you're just nutting for like four hours straight. I don't know. For me, I've never been like the the sexual type on E and Molly. Mm. Like I don't know why. And I know like people love like having sex on it and shit like that. Mm. Why do you stop looking at me like that? <laughs> I was, like, yeah. you know, I was like, waiting for like, like look what? away, you bro. <laughs> you're, you're well Rick, Rick there's always there's two type of people when you're Wait, well, there's two types you of say? people when you're on Molly uh-huh. ecstasy. Yeah. The one receiving the hand massage <laughs> and the one giving the hand massage. Right, right. You're the giver of the hand massage. <laughs> yeah, well you know with those thumbs Come on, dude. Relax. Yo, relax. you do got. I'm just a giver in all senses. You, of the you word, do though. got the thumbs of a 50. Ninja Turtle <laughs> thumbs, bro. You got the thumbs of a 55 year old Thai bro, woman right I there. Give God damn, three bro. Three day long massages and not get tired with these thumbs, dude. Man, you know what I mean? Because it doesn't require too much muscle. It's Siskel already just and Ebert bone. are jealous of those thumbs, right? There. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, if I could have given two thumbs up with those thumbs, that movie would have won an Oscar. <laughs> that's only one and a half stars, right? <laughs> It does oh, look like man. fucking PS4 Dual Shock. Nah, but definitely back in the day. If it wasn't so bad for you, that would be my favorite of yeah. choice, you know? But it's just. I remember the first time it's I did so Molly or Ecstasy, I thought that was the best drug out yeah. of all the drugs I tried yeah, at that but, point. Yeah, but, you know, I heard like they leave holes in your head. And I've seen mad people that's done it too much. Like really beautiful women that's done it too much, and now, now their vision's all blurry. And I have, like, yeah, they used to call it like Molly tards, like or, yeah, E-tards. E-tards. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And like, they're stupid. Like, I they're will really say though, I am incredibly amazed by how much the human body regenerates all the shit you put through it. Mm. Think about how all the drugs we have done. You know, mm. whether it's like teenagers to twenty to the twenties, even still occasionally done. now. Yeah, you yeah. know, like, right, just, do you think that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking about what? all the jokes I did earlier. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but, uh, you know, I think we're not, actually, I think we're not, like, you know, that crazy. You know, like, I, I, tra- I, I don't <laughs> think we're that crazy. I think, I think. He's crazy. I'm crazy in all sense of the word. But dude. I, because I, because I remember, like, like, there was dudes who would, like, fucking, on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Take a headband, right? <laughs> much like the one I'm wearing yeah, now. Yeah. Put, Put a acid. fucking acid or um, ecstasy, some shit, yeah. right? Right there, and then just play basketball. Just run one, and then and then fucking start sweating, and then right. it would, the It'll drugs go would go into your pores. That's freaking nuts. Like man. shit. Like, like, what are you doing? Yeah. What yeah. do That's you have nuts. to like? I mean, dude, you'll see the sake of geometry when you do that. Start making shots that you would have <laughs> never thought about. That's but the I, funniest. But I will, I will say that doing drugs back then was was really fun, because like, like, you know, you know, like nowadays, like a lot. There's so much information online, and there's a lot of people like, all right, 
if you're gonna do it, this is what you gotta do. And they're like, I'm no, I'm weird. Mm-hmm. Back then it was like, what is what is that? Let me just try it. Pop it <laughs> right. in, boom. Like, all right, this is what it does. You know what I mean? just yeah, go there's it. less like you don't think about it too much, <clears throat> but during that time when before yeah. you do it, there's now no it's like for it. I was like. Okay, I'm down. Let me look at my calendar real quick. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> right, right, right. Fuck, right. I got a meeting at two tomorrow. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Like, Damn. Yeah, I I, I, I kind of do miss like the three-day fucking... Binges? Three-day binge of yeah. like... Like I'd end up like on the third day just fucking at a, at a bar in like St. Mark's and I'm like foaming from the mouth. And my homie's like, yo, when's the last time you've been home? I'm Jesus. Like, yo. <laughs> yo. You're at Otai Show what? dying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. I've never done it to the point where I stayed up, like, <laughs> multiple days. I don't know what drug it takes. What, what's that? You know? Crack? <laughs> like, how do you stay nah, up multiple days? I mean, you could days? do all types of shit back to back, you know? Because mm. a lot of those hallucinogens keep you up. Like, you don't yeah. really fall asleep easily on them. You True. know what I mean? True. True. Like ecstasy, that should keep you. Up. Yeah, because ecstasy up. already has a lot of other shit in there. It probably yeah. has like a little Some bit of meth, a little on, coke. Yeah. It's a salad. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's a cocktail. It's like Have a you guys just with suspenders <laughs> and shit? <laughs> Damn. Man. Yeah, you know, Kizzy Days, kind of good. Like pure Molly, you know MDMA. Yeah, yeah. We, yo, ecstasy used to be fucking wild. Oh, yeah. yeah. You pink, didn't know what the, the fuck it was. Supermans and shit. Dude, man. Hold on. A word, quick word from our sponsors, Truth. So make sure you stay away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, I was where like, are we oh, going? Shit, okay. Remember, drugs create holes in your brain. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's a new drug thing? Because I know D.A.R.E. was the original drug and resistance education. Drugs are really expensive. That failed horribly. Did it? Truth.com. I think I was the valid Victorian of D.A.R.E. Like when we graduated from D.A.R.E. Oh, wow. In what fifth do you mean? grade. Wait, right, there was a right. graduation <laughs> Don't there. say, I think. You know you would have had That's I don't one know of if there's your a va- I don't know if there's a valid time. Victorian, but I did give a speech. He's a valid Victorian. I gave a speech. <laughs> speech. I don't know the Just fucking speech. Just freestyle it, bro. You know, you know bits of it. I don't you know, know speech. You said you don't want things. It was in fifth grade. I don't know. I don't know. He was like this. He was like, take care of me. I don't know. Let me find it. No, no, but I remember giving a speech, and there was only three kids who gave a speech for this thing, and I was one of them. Yeah, What is the craziest? That's why you remember. It wasn't a proud moment. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What are you trying to paint me as right here? No, because you were like, yo, only three people. And I was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> how many of you? How many of you were in class? I, you know, the thing about me is like I was a great student until about seventh grade. <laughs> yeah. Then it was all downhill from there. For real. You know, I didn't graduate. Who did? Who I did? Didn't, I didn't who, graduate my, on middle in my middle school stage. They didn't let me graduate on stage in middle school. Oh my god! What did you do? That's fucked up. That gave you the hunger to get on as many stages as possible. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what happened in middle school? I don't understand. I you just started skipping. I, I, I skipped a lot of school. Even who was the friend? Yeah, who, who was, was the it? one who was friend? friend, bro? So that, my I took a school bus to the valley from Koreatown, which is an hour and a half every morning. It's deep yeah. in the valley, Chatsworth. You know where uh, this is, yeah. right? Deep in the valley. Wait, why? So you're because LA of- schools during that time were so packed, like so many kids. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So they had to like open up the schools in different districts for kids in the city to go to. Wait, hold I on. I did that so- the other way. I, I I lived in the valley and I went to Fairfax. If you That's had weird. All right, somebody's <laughs> fucking up here because if no, they're you're sending you up. out there, they sent most of the LA kids that you might have requested that or some shit. Uh- I don't know. Yo, if yeah. you had an hour and a half commute, that means you had to wake up at like five. In yeah, the really early. That's oh why I missed a lot of school. Gosh. So you know what my lo- me and my younger sister used to do? We used to That's when go I get to the bus stop. Meeting. We used to go to the bus stop, and, and my parents before they go to work drop us off at the bus stop. And when they left, <laughs> me and my sister would just go back to the house, and we <laughs> stayed at the house the whole time. And one day we we're in the house, just fucking around, just chilling, eating whatever, <laughs> watching TV. And then we hear like keys clanging on the oh. door. My dad had come early from work, so me and my sister ran into the closet. And hid there the whole day. We hid there the whole fucking day. <laughs> oh my Until we God. waited for the right exit to act like we're coming back in from school and shit. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh my gosh, man. I've done that before, that, hiding that, in the closet. That makes me think about like. You wait, you've done that before, <laughs> hid in the closet? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It seems like you still are yeah, <laughs> doing up, that. No, I'm kidding. All right. Uh, <laughs> yo, my mom. My mom was the disciplinary figure in the in the family. Really? Yeah, that's I what can't that, see your mom lifting a finger to discipline. Oh, my mom you, beat bro. my ass, dude. Really? Me and my bro. Yeah, my my dad. Your mom has such a my, kind face. Oh, that that face. It metamorphs. Yeah. Oh, it distorts. Yeah. 
Yeah. I uh, uh my I, I can count the number of times my dad hit me. You can? I can, yeah, yeah. Like my dad barely Really, that's wow, crazy. My that's dad crazy. I beat my ass so many fucking <laughs> yeah. times. My mom too, but what my was dad crazy? was like yeah. I, will, I will say this though. Cuz of the rare the rare you know, so so rare. Yeah. It was way more like impactful. Of course, of course. And li- like I I remember I remember one of the first times he 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 he, he hit me. Like he fucking like, it was like a fucking like thunderclap. Like mm. I I've never been slapped so hard. I, you saw I red. flew off the <laughs> in the face no, or what? I I flew, like he slapped me and then I my legs lifted off the ground. Oh my god! And then I was like, What Whoa, did you do? Do you remember? <laughs> this is my dad. He landed on his feet like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> I did the three the three point landing. <laughs> do you remember what you did to uh, deserve that? I don't know. Damn. What was the craziest thing you got hit with? My dad had his favorites. Shoehorn was one of his favorites. Mm, the, this thing? Uh, the, you, no, it was a long shoehorn. I don't yeah, know why yeah. the shoehorn was that long. It was to <laughs> put on a cowboy <laughs> boot. Gold one. I know what you're talking about. Like, it was to put on a cowboy yeah, yeah. boot or something. It's it the like one a... where you don't need to bend over to put your shoe on. The, it's the one where my dad was it. one of those um, you know, ass whoopers where he finds the nearest object near oh, you. Yeah. So there was one time I just put mad like soft shit around. Yeah, my you sister... know what I'm saying? And this motherfucker somehow... <laughs> Just finds the hardest thing Jeez, around man. still. Like, my dad used to whoop my ass. He used to whoop my ass for not getting multiplication tables right. Oh, <laughs> my God. Yo, I think I think my dad spoiled math for me, bro. <laughs> I think I, 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 I do. Th- this happened a couple of years ago when I was, like, just, I don't know, sitting in my room being depressed. And I was like, when did I hate math? What, what traumatized me to really, really, like, when I see math, my whole, like, my soul just dies <laughs> what? I have my math they traumatized me I think really? I think I think there was this one time when I asked my dad to help me with my homework and then he was like yo you do this and then you do that and I was like I don't get it and then like he's like just figure it out just do it and then like oh I, I, didn't, I wasn't understanding it that's his way of saying then, he didn't know either <laughs> I was, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know that right <laughs> nah he knew it. <laughs> nah he knew it. and then I was, like, I, not, you, <laughs> you know no but he wasn't doing it like that he was like he was like Come on, do it. Come on, and then without like, telling you the process, and then and then like he was like, and then every between everyone he was like muttering like stupid ass kid, like, right, you know? right, and right, I was like, right. like my dad, and my dad's not like he's not evil, yeah, you know, like right, but right. I think he was just so frustrated, and then I was feeling that pressure and that frustration, and then like I think like at the end I was like, yo, I don't I ever want to feel like this shit, right, like, right. I, hate I always feel like it's it's a tough <laughs> situation because you have your moments where you're parents are just assholes you know what i mean abusive at times not even yeah. not that not just to you even domestic violence with your mom like there's a part and you hate them for for, for a long time you know but there's a moment where it does shift for them yeah they become a little bit better too yeah and then did there's the did, par- did your parents ever fight did my parents ever fight like f- physical fight <laughs> come on G. I think i think i think are you Gar- serious? i think you're you saw domestic abuse, like you know. No, like, he's he had it too. No, I've seen it. No, oh, no, yeah, yeah. no, no, of course. Uh, my, 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 I, you see, you're I've lucky on that part. Wait, you've never lucky. seen that. Yeah, I, my, no, my you are very lucky. I'll tell you, if you've seen Korean <laughs> parents, are there's a lot of domestic violence in Korean oh, yeah. families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my dad oh, yeah. was brutal, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am so is talking my pops. shit like. Yeah, yeah, slamming yeah. a head yeah. in the doorway type shit. Oh yeah, yeah. shit! Like yeah, WWE, yeah, yeah, like really bad. Because he was an alcoholic. He was like a yeah. raging alcoholic. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, like he cutting off a, arms. He brings that table and he's like, you're like "Bro, I've caught. I've I had to call the cops on my dad at least." Three the times. worst that, that I was about to say that the worst feeling like when you're young is when your parents is yelling and crying at you to call the cops on the other one. Oh, because then you're shit. stuck in this glitch mode. You're like, I don't, I, 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 you don't want to do it. You know right. what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. And you said you. I know that your dad had a problem with drinking too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, our parents at that time, especially immigrant parents, you know, like they come in, they have head shakes. They, they're trying to acclimate to this new country. They're not making any money. Yeah. I think so, there's a lot of stress. Yeah. And so that, I think much that's stress. the part that we took a while, obviously, to get to the point of understanding, <laughs> like, what maybe our dad has gone through. All that stuff is inexcusable. That we're yeah, past yeah. that. We get yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then there has to be a mm-hmm. point where like you do kind of trying to understand like why the fuck they did that shit. Yeah. Because nobody and wants to be like that. Nah, because also it, it, I look at happened. my dad yeah. now right. I'm like, and he's like ashamed of the way he was. And, right, and, right, right. And I'm not saying he's the best dude but, now, but then I, he's not the same person as I remember him. Yeah, then, for sure. You know? For and I'm sure. like, when, you know. But this is the thing too. Like, 
everything in retrospect life is funny this way how like as our parents get as my dad gets older with age comes fatigue you know and you get tired a little bit and you don't have the same zeal or like the energy to be as to wild whip anymore ass. <laughs> you know to whip ass no for real for real yeah. and and us as we get older you know like when we saw like things that our parents uh, that my dad did i'll be like i'll never do that i'll never become like that and then as we get older we start to see how similar we are to our fathers too you know yeah. what i mean like mm -hmm. things that i promise that i will never do i've done you know and when you start seeing that and then you start seeing like <laughs> damn it's like a flip that's happening we have to make sure and this is for everyone listening right now who had abusive fathers that kind of switched their ways yeah we have to pull them to the side and let them know it's like have dad a, i forgive you yeah and you're good to me <laughs> yeah because these might like they're gonna live with this bitterness and this like fear it's like damn is this monster that i was <laughs> before are my kids gonna always think of me like this? We have to we've put had them to those, the side. i've had i've had a few of those conversations i still don't know if my my dad I feel like he's kind of brushed it off a little bit right, at times. Right. The conversation, not the, not what actually happened, right. but wanting to have that conversation. Um, I mean, it was a long time ago. You know, right, I was right. about like eleven years old seeing it, and you know, and like up to my teens and shit. And right. then finally, and that's the crazy thing. It's like imagine like growing up with your mom and dad and never seeing really a happy moment between them for sure that shit was crazy dude like for i sure. they were fighting but so there's gotta be much. glimpses where it was like oh that's my that's my parents but even if there were it was so overpowered with the frequency of how many times they fought i swear to god i don't have one damn glimpse. that's crazy i don't have one moment where i remember my dad and my mom <laughs> being happy with each other and shit like that it was always like my dad <laughs> Maybe like uh, giving me and my uh, me my sister and my mom some money to go on like a trip to Santa Barbara. Like you or something. not like, you not seeing that kind of like rough. It like it turned you into a diamond, right? Mm -hmm. All that pressure turned you into a diamond, and now your success and who you are now is the reason why they are so happy. <laughs> you ever think about you know what I mean? Even when Nova came too, like those things is the shift. That's like the invert. Yeah, and now they're. <clears throat> I feel like so joyful. I think I think it's. You a, should be proud I of yourself feel, for that. I feel like I want to break the cycle. Yeah, and my sister too. My sister grew up the same way. It's not like just me, you know. Right, I feel, right. But my sister feels a little less damaged because she has this new addition to her family with like mm -hmm. a baby. Mm -hmm. She has a husband. But that's her you know? way of breaking the cycle too. It is. It's like it's I, like I feel she, like she does the best job of breaking the cycle. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? She does shout the best. Out shout out, shout out, my sister Natalie. Sure. She's like amazing. I feel like me, like it's fucked me up, kind of in a negative way. In a in a sense mm. you know what i mean like i try to break the cycle but i also see glimpses of my dad and i'm not talking about abusive and shit but being cold in a way of right, like right. sharing my feelings and shit like that yeah. you know i saw this one interview we've, we've been working on you bro <laughs> <laughs> they were asking <laughs> whenever we're drunk <laughs> whenever we're drunk it's so fucked up but i i always just i pull him aside and go you're not your dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. damn, that's, that's that. amazing. Dude. You said that so many times. To me <laughs> really? Yeah, start, I, but you know, you think it's a joke. I'm just hypnotizing you, dude. It's a slow <laughs> yeah, process. Yeah. Bro. It's a reiteration. Um, I think I think I, I I definitely did luck out in that aspect. I I you know what I think it is. I think one, my dad. Um, there's few things he holds sacred, but one of the things that he always makes sure we do every year is. Uh, the anniversary of his mom's death. She died when he was young. Mm. Oh wow! <clears throat> so that really so took he's a still, whole toll on him. And he still like celebrates <clears throat> the anniversary of yeah. his mom's like, death. I, I That's pretty rare. Him, dude, like, like, sad. I never see him like kind of sad. So or, what, like, you take the cure and the uh, the <clears throat> thing to the like yeah we meet up with, with the, the other uncle or whatever and then oh nice <clears throat> um yeah like and I, I don't see him pray often but that's you know right because right. like uh his mom was mad religious she was like a the, like Korean village like one of the leaders of that shit um so I don't know I, I don't think I don't obviously he didn't see any abuse in his right, right, lifetime right. and then also you know but your dad didn't his, drink heavily that, huh my, my dad holds his own though with the drinks mm. is he is he pretty emotional cause I mean you've mentioned your no. dad is pretty cold too like he's he, just he's just you know he's the not the Asian Korean dad like, yeah he's, he's not like behind a newspaper me, yeah, yeah. Like, like, the, like the math shit was like yeah. a good example like I never ask for help like after right 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 <laughs> 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 yeah, like, like you know, yeah that math that math you shit. know one thing I noticed about my dad I remember he was <laughs> trying so hard 
he I can tell he was getting peer pressured so much of the other Korean families of like what we're supposed to be doing. If like if the if the next Korean family was getting like a set of encyclopedias, oh. he was like trying to get that. Hell like, yeah, like, we, had uh, we had Britannica do like World Book. Yeah, you like know? he didn't even know, he just felt like he had to get it. No, he didn't for even know sure. why he needed it or whatnot. Hundred yeah, yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could why tell that. And yo, you know why? It's that's why the whole taekwondo, piano, violin thing started, dude. Is because during that time when everyone was immigrating to America, like the ones that early, that came here earlier, they're like Ivy League schools, right? Yeah. They're like, oh, taekwondo, like these extracurricular things. There was like a set blueprint that other Korean <laughs> families came over, and they were like, oh, dry cleaning, right? You know, cleaners, or beauty supply. Yeah, beauty supply, and then taekwondo, all these things. Right. Like this was all. Like not letting the firstborn do sports because they were scared of the health, you know, not getting hurt, and then <laughs> easing up. All these things is similar all throughout. It's crazy. Right, right, right. right. It's also because Koreans like to copy each other. Copy each other. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah. trend. Yeah. They're trend hoppers. Yeah. 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 Like, Yo, like, let me t okay, let me tell one story real quick. Right, go ahead. There's one story. This is the funniest immigrant like story. Mm -hmm. So this was like you when I was be the funniest dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, yo, I'm ready to laugh. Right. I'm already. I'm ready to. This is when I was like. This is when I was like six or seven years old. That's like three more years, like three years since I've been in this country and my parents had moved into this country. Hold on. Right. Yeah. Right. We receive a mail for, um, you know, the, the clearinghouse sweepstakes. Mm -hmm. My family thinks we won. <laughs> like, straight oh, up, we think we won. It's no. a $2 million from Dick. Yeah, what is yeah, his, yeah, uh, what's yeah, his yeah. name? Um, yeah. uh, what, I know what you're You know about. the guy's name? Uh, Price Water and Clearing Dick Clark? Dick, not, Dick Clark's uh, dude, other guy. Whatever, dude. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dick Clark. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, clearinghouse sweepstakes. We're like, I, I, and I'm the one to my mom, like, because I'm the one, you know, like, translating for my parents. Right, right. You know, so I'm looking at it like, <laughs> Udi, <laughs> we won, like, we won, like, don't be stupid, you know? It's like, don't it's be like, stupid. I, like, then they're like, no, nah, I can't be, bro. I'm like, no, <laughs> so you're, like, you're, you're, I'm making them on. I'm like, up. for real, like, I think we fucking won, dude. Right, right. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. And then, and, 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 <laughs> His we, dad quits they, his job. My dad calls the, the other Korean family that he's working for, who's been in the country a lot longer. They have more money or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're like laughing at us, bro. They're oh laughing at gosh. us, bro. Because they knew what it was. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. That's some shit. Yeah. You know you know what's crazy? I, I just thought of this. It's like, wow, my, our parents are so busy trying to like adapt, mo making their new life here. I realized how little I know about my dad's like, like past. Past. Yeah. Like who he is. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I know him as an authoritative figure. I right. know like who he's trying to be a and who he's become. Asian, what about what about, our, what about but what, what I mean moms, is the moms. Asian even, dads even moms are, Asian dads are the most mysterious figures in Asian <laughs> right, culture. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> no, I'm saying you you talk to like other friends and they'll be like, Yeah, my dad's favorite music is this. You know what yeah. I mean? Like his favorite dish is this. Well, not dish, I know my dad's favorite dish though. Yeah, what? I I asked him one day, I was like, if you could have one meal for the rest of your life or your last meal he, without hesitation, he's like ramen. <laughs> ramen. Yeah. Shit. But you know, like food is. I don't something know my. Different. I don't know my dad's favorite dish. Yeah. But I, I would think ramen is top he three. Ate, though. He ate ramen every day, he every did. morning. My, I, my so, dad did too. Yeah. <laughs> my this is the thing about Korean dads. No matter if you go out and go eat at like the fires meal pogo de chow or in, you oh, know, steakhouses man. or whatever yeah they'll come home and want a fucking ramen i would shit. take my dad to fire ass dinners come home he's like hey i'm gonna make a ramen <laughs> <laughs> i think it just makes their fucking soul complete like it, yeah is it yeah. something about it hits like a different area minorities or some shit where like our, so, our our food is so connected with our like yo um what's the pork bone stew with comes out tongue Right, mm -hmm. Kamjatang. We go eat fucking uh, um, pork bone stew, <laughs> and then my dad, like, while we're eating, he fucking slides my chair close <laughs> to him, goes like, "You gotta eat this at least once a year." <laughs> <laughs> what? He's like, he's like, he like brought me mad yeah, close, and he's like trying to impart wisdom, and I was like, "Why?" He's like, "It's just good for your soul." So I like, eat this know. once a week. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, you know, you eat, you eat like a hot stew or soup yeah. with your dad. Yeah. The, the, you're like I don't think I've ever Eaten that soup That deliciously The way my dad <laughs> did sure, The amount man. The way they slurp Come it, on Like the, the bowls yeah. And I'm like I can't even like They're like professional Soup eaters 100%, bro 100% 100% yeah. Our fathers They come from a generation Where like They were poor as shit man You know yeah. what I mean So them eating Like this Like the way we eat Us having Cool 
kogi, panchan, pops. Like to them, they're still baffled to this day, bro. Yeah, my mom like still gets like fucking upset if you throw anything out. Oh, come on, <laughs> come on. She's like, I can't, like, yo, that's this, why this I is eat. Rotten? That's no, why just, I eat everything. Up. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Have, <laughs> they have a different <laughs> type the of... They have, like, a very <laughs> professional palate because, like, my dad, you know, he's been in Koreatown, like, mad decades now, and there's mad Korean restaurants right here. Like, I'll tell him about, like, fire spots for a soup. And he's like, no, that shit's trash. Yeah. It's, like, my favorite <laughs> spot for years. Right, right. It's my favorite spot And then he years. walks his talk and takes you to another spot. Yeah, and he's like, oh, spot. Like, I don't even know about it. It's under a fucking spa, like, three <laughs> floors down. And right, like, it's, right, right. Damn. Yeah. Father's Day is when? Yeah. Why, yeah. <laughs> why do we talk about our dads? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, my well, how about family. our moms? How about our moms? Let's go back to our moms because yeah. we kind of went in on mom. our dads. Yeah. Um, my, you see the? Do you think you think? Okay. I, I don't have much issue with my mom because I try to take care of her. Mm. You know, I know what she went through and I want to like take care of her. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's good. That's yeah. A, okay. Do you think you would have been friends with your mom? If you were her, like, back then. Like, Hell yeah. Cool. I think so. My mom's yeah, my mom's tongue, pretty cool. My yeah. mom's, like, mm. way of words is so sharp. Like, I knew she snapped on people. You know what I mean? Dude. Like, she, my yeah, mom's yeah, a yeah, snapper, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, your mom's a... Uh, like, because I see... I think she... Yeah, she, your Because I yeah. see my mom, like, uh, when she's with the church, she talks in a certain way, right? And then when she's... My mom has five sisters, dude. Yeah. You know? Oh, she has so, to survive. So, yo, bro. They're <laughs> just... You know how the ajima, the, gu- the gum chew changes it becomes Gumshiba. snappier a little bit <laughs> yeah i it's know like, exactly what you're talking about it's a little you know what i'm talking yeah. about though like i'm like damn Not mom sure, but <laughs> yo my, and she yo mom, she goes in uh, my mom had two older brothers um one uh that's my my cousin jose that's mm-hmm. his dad and shit <laughs> my, by the way my, my korean jose? cousin's name is jose <laughs> oh my yeah. god because they're from south america yeah, like if me. you did jean <laughs> that would have been de- jean and jose damn they went all the way in latin with his yeah, name was <laughs> was even, yeah my co- korean cousin's name is jose um but she has two older brothers um and so i think she was like disciplined a lot mm. when she was growing up too mm. So I mean I feel bad. She had to go go from that to my dad. Right, right. <laughs> you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Just like extra oh, ass shit. Damn. Uh, but your mom my, my, was a my, soldier, my, right? Yeah. She, <laughs> she, she, someone tell her to do that to or to leave to to come here? Yeah, because my dad first came and wow. then he sent for my mom to you know take me and my my uh, sister to the, <laughs> so to your the dad Mexican was like border. bring the kids. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you my, do it. No, no, no. No, I, I don't kidding. know the story behind that, but that's that's what she did. She right, took right. me and my uh, sister through the Mexican border to Coyotes. That is she said crazy. that the guys who were in charge of that were scary too. Like yeah. when they had to spend a night one night like yeah. by the truck or whatever. Because your mom's a beautiful woman too yeah. like back then yeah, yeah. She yeah, had to she was, watch. she's like a really youthful looking yeah. and asian woman too like Come you know out of all, she stood out you know she could yeah. just like blend in you right, know right, barely right, legal right. beauties yeah. uh, oh my <laughs> god <laughs> i fucking hate you um but yeah i mean so that happened um and then, i think i think my mom was a tomboy my bad go on that, that, i just i just, just want to say that yeah, you can yeah. hear about this all on are we there yet uh song <laughs> by Dumb yeah 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 that's not the story <laughs> but one thing I, I wanted to share is there's this one older brother that my mom has who's kind of not all the way there in his head mm-hmm. he's a little like it's okay, like me but he's the, he's the one musician in all of my family wow and i don't i never met him have you heard he's, any of his music i've never met no he just plays guitar and like oh. sings and shit but like he, you know, he's kind of slow, whatever, and he's alone in Argentina right now. Actually, my mom has been trying to like fly him out, but then like I don't think he wants to and shit. But wow, how old he's like up there? He's now. he's a little older, yeah. And that's like, crazy. but that's the crazy thing. I never knew anybody to have any kind of art or music background in all of my family. Right, and right. He's the one guy I haven't met. Right, you know right. What I'm saying? Damn, so, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay, guys, in the chat right now, people are ranking who would make the best dad. Uh, I feel fuck like that. I- fuck that. <laughs> I think, I think who would John- make who do you think would make the best mom? <laughs> okay? That's, That's more you, interesting. Bro. Mom is harder because dad hard. you could be a little bit harsh. You know yeah. what I mean? Mom. What you kind have of to- mom what kind of mom would like I could obviously see him as a mom. I could kill like, it as very a very disciplinary, dude. but also like just like I feel like you would be you. the best yeah. mom though. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not the best dad. I don't know if you'd be the best dad. I mean, your bosom, like everything, is just like. Right, more you know what? Let's get, let's take the calls. Let's why don't we just take the calls right now? Jump okay. into this question. Oh, let's get into right. calls. Let's get into we the calls. We were from fuck Mary Kill to who's the best mom? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get that beard, bro? Yeah, it's called balance. Thanks, brother. Don't talk to me about balance, all right? Join the Discord, guys. 
Yo, everybody, join the Discord. We're going to answer these questions, but we'll go around us three right now on who we think is going to be the best mom. I actually think I could be a very good mom. I too. think you could be a very good mom. Yeah. You know, uh, she's I gonna, think, she's uh, maybe not on the mom. domesticated part, like doing, you know, like cooking food yeah, and shit yeah. like that. But well, like, that's that's kind of what that's <laughs> what being a mom is about, right? <laughs> it's part of it, but I think that's a huge part of it. Actually, I think I might be a good, more of a good dad than a mom. What do you think? I think you neglect your kids. <laughs> I'm probably be more of a good drunk uncle. <laughs> <laughs> the weird uncle. <laughs> Nah, nah, not the weird uncle. I'm not gonna like molest would, my kids. No, no, it's, it's <laughs> no, I, I wasn't it's saying unfair. that. I was just that saying that would weird. be a fun. Auntie. I know. No one said that. That's the <laughs> weird. When you refer to weird uncle, it's mm. the touchy uncle. Like what is else you is a right. weird no, uncle? No, no, there's there's a weird uncle. What's just, another weird uncle? They're just there's bugged cool, out. Yo, I had an yeah, uncle. Cool, I had an uncle. He's cool as shit. Nah, there's a cool uncle and there's a weird uncle. Weird uncle. I had a cool weird uncle. I had a cool weird uncle. I had an uncle. He was cool as shit, right? He was like, he knew all like the illest like music. You drove a sports car. That's how he reeled you in. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, he didn't touch me or anything, bro. He didn't do anything like that. But what he did, like, he would get super drunk with my dad. I don't know if this is a Korean thing. Yeah. He would chew up food, and he'd be like, you ba. And then, <laughs> then put it in my mouth, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Yo, did, has, has anyone done that to you guys? Oh no. my god. Is that normal? We're not a b- baby bird. Yeah, dude, he regurgitated this food into my oh mouth. Oh my god. That, that's, <laughs> so that's the weird part, clearly. And then he'll be cool and give me a sip of beer afterwards. I'll be like, what oh the fuck? Yeah, I god. will say this. He would chew up food and go. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, that in, is in, weird. in Korea, there are weird things like, like grandmas will just grab your dick. Grandmas? Grandpas. Yeah, like, no, well, anyone. They'll just grab your dick. Yeah, but they'll wait, just do I, that. I, I know. I know it's for a temperature yeah, check. Okay. It's for a size kid, check. That's it's it. It's because it's like, they're like, oh, like, because the, the penis is like. How you, meaning you're growing yeah, or whatever. Yeah, you're growing. Just, or like, they'll grab your dick. Yeah, they'll be say, how, how, let's see how big you got. But that shit will not fly <laughs> like, no, at all. Happened. That happened no, in America. No, 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 but I'm saying that yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. You know, yeah. it's a cultural thing. We all know what that is, you know, yeah. but. No, I'm saying a Korean grandpa did that to a white kid. Shout out to Gil Slayer. Oh, you got in trouble here. Yeah, you got trouble here. Yeah, that fool read that Why situation completely wrong. <laughs> How are you doing today? What the fuck are you gonna do, bro? Uh, Come on, all right, all right, we getting any calls? Yeah, we got a couple of people in the waiting room. All right, all right, <laughs> we got a couple of people in the waiting room. All right, Tony, send them in. <laughs> so, all right, all right, one we, by one. We got uh, drunken monkey. Drunken monkey, what's up, bro? You're on there. What's up, man? Yo, that size check. We need Can to we turn the AC on, off? On. Turn the AC off and let's get this. Uh, Whoa. Hold on, hold on. My, my, oh, sorry, it's my computer. No, okay, it's all good. Up? What's what up, up brother? How are you, man? Chilling, chilling. So, I think Dumb would be the the dad of the of the group. He's always oh, trying thanks, to ring y'all in. All right, explain yourself, bro. Do you support this? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't mind being the dad, long as I'm not my dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, throughout the show, always. I've said it before. He's always saying, "Hey, hey, come on, stop doing that," or "Hey, come on, let's get this together," or mm, "Hey, come on, let's wrap this okay. up." I don't know so if, if always, that's all the way true. Mm. How do you know that that's I, not scripted, okay, okay, bro? I will say this. I will say this. I do believe on this podcast I play a very integral role of bringing us back on track on a subject matter. Who does? Me. You. Oh, you <laughs> always trying to get people I off do. track. I, I, we I, all... I, I sum up a lot of things, and then I mo- try to move things along. I'm very conscious of it. Mm, so mm. take that. What's your name again? Drunken Monkey. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um no, that's no, that's I, very I say, that's very stupid. I have, you know, I think that actually that part does come from my dad because my dad was very strict and he yeah. was always clean. Like yeah. my mom was kind of like my mom wasn't the clean one in her face. She'd leave stuff around. My dad would, would throw away everything. Right, uh, right. He would not. He was he was the opposite of a hoarder. He just throw away so much important shit too. Like, right, right. yo, we need that. Like he just throw it away. He's like, no, get rid of it. It's dirty, dirty. So I think I get that part from my dad. Don't throw us away. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh. So I'm I'm first generation American. Yeah, and it's funny because uh, Wait, so first I never saw my dad. First, first generation, generation American. My, my parents were immigrants. I got was born you, here. Got you, got you. So I never saw my dad grow, uh, growing up. Right. And I resented him for that, but it wasn't until I grew up that I realized that he was working, you know, at the state to afford us to live here. Right, right. Um, hundred percent. So, Dumb does this song where he said, uh, "Daddy worked so hard, his hands look like California raisins," and I'm just like, "Damn." That's, yeah. that's for life. That's yeah. for sure. So, <laughs> nah, yeah. that's real it's, shit. It's I, I understood that part from my dad. You know, mm. I, th- the work part, I always think I understood. I, th- I think it was hard for me to forgive, like, 
how it affected his behavior with releasing that stress you know yeah. getting fucking wasted yeah. or gambling and all this shit and i felt like at times he loved his friends more than he loved his family right right you know right. like the people he'd go like you know all of them who are hard workers there was a time like actually and it was funny most of the because i'm from downtown like my family's from downtown la like all the f- korean families who had businesses there and worked I look at all the family, uh, other families we hung out with. They all have separated divorce situations, right, and, and right. you know, f- families that lost their whole business and life through gambling debts and all the shit. So, it was a very toxic environment that time. There was a community of immigrants that would fuck up together. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying. Like, I felt I felt like a dick now because you know my parents did the best they can to move me to like a pretty prominent neighborhood where i could get good education but we were like right on the verge right still kind of in the ghetto area and then because i'm going like i'm my classmates are like all these rich you know kids coming back from family vacations and showing me stuff like they're doing with their parents and all this like back then i didn't realize that they were working so hard i'm like why the fuck can't you spend time with us like this you know what i mean why yeah. can't we go to disney like I just didn't know. I was oblivious to the hustle. And then right. now it's just kind of like, oh, shit, man. You know, they've yeah. been working too much. I used to fucking work at the store, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You no, see? no, no. I mean, we did yeah, too. That's, that's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm talking oh, yeah, about yeah. elementary school. <laughs> yeah, I was. Oh, I wasn't really working. I used to hate going to my family's <clears throat> little store and shit. In yeah, my dad would like come up with games. My dad would come in. Here's 30 shirts. <laughs> Each shirt has 10 buttons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, well, drunken! Thanks for night. hitting us up, bro. <laughs> that yeah, was, uh, yeah, yeah, thanks, drunken. Uh, okay, yo, yeah. that's the same thing that I think I I do to you when you come over. Come and I have like an dude. IKEA furniture. Yeah, I'm like, man. let's see who could build these sizes. <laughs> He's like, meat, sauce, pen, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> it's come a puzzle. On, dude. It's a puzzle. <laughs> <Can> you figure <laughs> it out. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. All right, let's get another call. We got uh. Shout out to hardworking parents, though, man. Yeah, my mom, my mom was a registered nurse at night. Wow, Damn. that shit broke my heart when I like. She retired now. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, Damn, at night too, like that schedule. Fuck. Yeah, and fucking, you know, take care of third day and then right. sleep. That's in crazy. The evening and then oh go to work. my god, that scheduling is just crazy. Night That's shifts. Crazy. Yeah. All right, we got a uh, comrade Joshua. Oh, comrade, comrade Joshua. Jo- we got Whoa. one from uh, North Korea. What up, dude? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. What's up, bro? Yeah, yeah. What's good? How are What's you? Yeah, good. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm tired. But Australia. You know, nah, UK. 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 Oh, High Street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking wanker. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just, uh, I kind of wanted to weigh in on the, uh, you know, mom and dad discussion. Sure. All right. Um, but I, I kind of wanted to ask, like, why do you think there are no boring uncles? Boring like, uncles. You were, yeah, it's like you were saying. There's only like cool or weird uncles. Cause I okay, I would. Mm, Cause it, when okay, you're an I uncle, a... you're it's just fucking. It's bugged out. You're like, damn, my brother or sister has a fucking kid. This is weird. Yeah. And then you could just pop in, and you're like, look at this cute little fucker. I want to fuck with him. You know, I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna make him <laughs> yeah, laugh. Yeah. You know? It works. Then, it works. It's both. an easier job work. than actual parents. For exactly. sure. So it works. Could have been mine. <laughs> yeah. They're psyched. It but works then, both ways. If you spend too much time on him, he'll get boring. Right, right. Yeah, you'll get boring, yeah, yeah. but you you only get yeah. like the, the uncle is fun because he doesn't have kids on his own and he doesn't know the responsibilities of everything else. He just knows the entertainment portion of it. But then yeah. if you have an yeah, uncle yeah. who does have kids, he's a cool uncle too because he wants he wants you to think that he's a better father than your father. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> there's that thing there. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. that thing there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, let me, can I also, <laughs> let me also point out one thing. Yeah. Sometimes you see me going hard on like Rec or like Rick, you know, like close friends I spend every fucking day with. Yeah. And then the chat's like, dumb is fucking mean. Right. Like, y'all don't have to spend every single day with, e- you know, these dudes every right, right. day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, yeah. before it down, gets, first of all, tone it down. We a deal bit. with you, too. I, yeah. I, 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 that's what I'm saying. That, I'm not just saying you guys you to me. I'm yeah, saying yeah. each other. Like, <laughs> Look what you that, started, but Joe. But that's the same thing Yo. with parents. You know what I'm saying? We don't give much love. Oh, yeah. It's like, remember, um, mm. uh, what's the shit? Um, uh, Bronx Tale. Right. 
Do you remember remember uh, Robert De Niro was the dad and he was the bus driver? Yes, and, and I know Bronx son, too. But the son kept looking up to uh, 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 the gangster fool. Right, right, right. But then he's not the dad dad. Like when he's it comes exactly, down to it, yeah. the dad has to have other shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you got to be strict. At, at the end towards Bronx Tale, when that cool guy was like, he was under pressure. He started breaking down, started exactly. getting mean. You exactly, start seeing that, you know? Exactly. So with the dad, he like spreads it out. He's like balanced, mean, nice, cool, all this. You go you go through the thick and thin through it. You, go you know what I'm yeah. saying? Thin, the uncle's bro. not there through the thick and thin. I mean, shoot even, fucking even... food and put it in your mouth, boy. <laughs> oh my God. Put this in your mouth. It's uh, nice and moist. Uh, thank dude, you, he thank would you, chew Josh. up shrimp and put what it in my fuck? mouth. Thank you, Josh. Yo, Josh Peace, you got anything else? Uh, or you, you got anything else, Josh? Nah, I, I, I don't need to think about a uh, Rick mouthfeeling. <laughs> who, would, yes. who, would, who would make the best mom out of us three? Come to my titty. Mom Come on. Come on, G. Mom's a, harder, mom's a harder one. Also, can I just say, I love the way Brick says come on. It's a... It, come on. I, I know, that come on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah, you on. Do have, you do say come on a lot, actually. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, bro. Yeah. I, I thought I was a come no, boy, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Definitely, I'd say definitely uh, either, either dumb or Rick. I heard R. Because... Right. because because Rick is so firmly dad in my mind. Oh, it's... Rick is the dad to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But who's the mom, dude? All we right. just saw baby mom. <laughs> he just said it's me or you for the mom. Oh. Okay. All right. Yo, have a great. Sorry. Have a great. Oh, okay. Evening. Hold on. Hold on. I got the three categories. Who'll be the mom, the dad, and the cool uncle? All right. Oh. From now on, it's like it's a new fuck Mary and okay. kill. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. You got the orange. Okay, That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Good content. Now, idea. now we're adding cool uncle. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that the cool uncle is probably Wreck. So the mum would You just don't want to fucking live with me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find you. Doc, I, I feel like, like everyone like, wants I feel the, like, the title of the cool I feel like uncle now. I feel like you're best in small doses, Wreck. Oh, wow. Wow. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> once, once, every, once every few weeks, you know? All right. No, he, I'll tell you right now. Here's the thing. Sometimes me and Red crazy fight, and I can't stand him sometimes. But and then he I can't him. last. I can't go like, and I try to Say be a dick. It. I'm like, okay, okay, that's how you want to play. I'm not gonna call hit you up for like for a minute. <laughs> and it's like four days pass. They can't and get enough like, me. And then he calls me up. And he's like, I'm we, like, you want to go grab dinner? My treat. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm treating too now. Oh my god. Like, goddamn. Okay. I'll tell you right now. And this is Red. He's like, I'll tell you right now. Everybody in the chat that, because I saw a YouTube comment, some fucking dude was like, <laughs> fucking dude. he was like, oh, Rick is this guy who like, yeah, you, he's funny here and there, but you can't st fucking stand him after a lot of, listen, all right? Talk to <laughs> him. Motherfuckers like, they, they damn near begged me to come hang. Speak I'm like, yo, it. I don't want to hang. <laughs> they, Trust me, yo. Once you get Whoa, a taste, trust what? me, yo. Once you get a taste, you should make you should make a you should make a web series called Hang Bros. <laughs> <laughs> just mad, oh, mad people pulling up nah, to you in a band like, yo, you want to hang out? <laughs> I'm that right. song. I'll see you guys. Yeah, right. we're gonna wrap this. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Josh. Funny dude. Uh, let's take two more calls and we'll wrap up this episode. Two more Josh. calls. All right, we got two Changs. What two, changs? Two, two Changs. Two Changs. Two Changs. Yo, what's up? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Yeah. Is it two of yeah, you or man. just... Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, there's, there's two of me. Okay. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> All right, oh, yeah, I wanted to weigh in on the uh, sure, weigh mom, in. dad. All right, all right. And cool right, uncle, so... you're... There's... What's your nationality, bro? It could be cool bro? or oh. weird uncle. You could choose either one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Don't give him oh, that wait. option. All right, all right. Alright, alright, wait, wait. Did, did Rick Rick just ask me what my ethnicity is? Yes. <laughs> That's his nice. go-to thing. Nice. That's his thing. <laughs> Earlier, I know he wait, wanted wait, to. I ask. wanted to ask so bad. Yeah, his, his segment is Minority Report. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Minority Report oh, with Rick Lee. Alright. All right. What wait, is it though? Oh, let's guess. This is good. This is fun. What do you think? Okay, let's see. Hey, the way you just said okay, that. Okay, okay. Sounded... Let, let's have him say a sentence and then guess. Okay. Um, say something. <laughs> uh, I just packed another bowl. I just packed. He's a white. Bowl. He's white. He's white. Nah, dude. Uh, he's he's, 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 he's Asian. Oh yeah, he's two I, I'm gonna fuck. say oh two, two chains. Oh, okay, okay. We didn't even think about that. Filipino. <laughs> I, I'm gonna say Taiwanese. Yeah. 
What are you? He got, he got it. I'm Filipino. Oh, oh Filipino. Damn. That's why he runs the minority report. Minority, minority <laughs> report. No, you just sound friendly yeah. and like hip hop based. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, this man knows his hip hop. He knows on, his hip He's like, you look. You sound like you enjoy hip hop from '93 to '96. <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah, you, you're definitely wearing a beanie with a brim on it, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah, yeah. right now. Funny, funny, funny story. Uh, I actually was in a Filipino organization, and we were gonna get uh, Rick to perform. To like, we were gonna ask him to perform at one of our like. Functions. Oh shit! Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've done yeah. plenty of those. <laughs> but then, but then someone pointed out to me that they're like, "Wait, no, he's a Christian rapper. Do you <laughs> really want that to be part of the?" the, the oh shit! Uh, so if you've been wondering. <laughs> So, Rick, have you been wondering why you haven't been getting booked as many shows in the last 12 years? Blame God! <laughs> why have you forsaken me? Why have you forsaken me? I can see the faces of your, of your like association yeah. like Christian rapper. Ooh. No. But, but that's a good point. I wonder if that... It has been for heard. sure, you think dude. So? They want to break dance, not praise, bro. You know what I mean? No, it's not that. I think no, no. I'm not saying that. I think they didn't want to book it because associating religion all of a sudden excludes a lot right, of people right, too. Right, right. If you do it on a yeah, show, yeah, for sure. You know Definitely. what I mean? No one, yeah. But then, but Filipinos are super religious and like Catholic and Christian, aren't they? Yeah, but you don't you you don't want like someone with a mission statement coming on your stage <laughs> when you're trying to turn up. You know what I'm saying? It's like, guys, I know you guys want to turn up, but pull your seats up close real quick. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, you know yeah. all of those. <laughs> nah, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of hurt by that, but yeah. it's all good. But, but also that, and then they also you just confirmed all the like, suspicions. <laughs> Wait, <hold on. laughs> they were like, he's a big six foot Korean dude. And then all of a sudden, me and the girl that I was uh, organizing the show with both punked that we were like, oh, I don't know how to talk to someone that intimidating. Wait, wait, <laughs> who, who, did, who did they book instead? Uh, uh, we booked some pop punk band. Pop so punk? So we just went to pop, pop, pop punk band, like some local band. Well, like uh, Run okay. River North? No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> we know all the motherfuckers that get booked wait, wait, for this kind of shit, but that's cool, though. Yeah. Yeah, That's fine. What school was this? What right school now. was this? <laughs> oh, shit. Yo. <laughs> yeah, what school was this? Uh, this was a... Uh, so I didn't go to the school, but we were... Uh, like, there's a big Filipino network, so it was uh, George Mason when we were... Oh, we were George Mason. Them. Oh, Virginia yeah. George Mason. Yeah. 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 Oh, all right, Damn. all right. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just not said that, bro. <laughs> Don't worry, Rick's this gonna. This is so damn. hilarious to me. Rick's gonna pray for them. Um, I'm gonna look at all the pop <laughs> punk bands. <laughs> Fuck. That's man. so funny. That is George Mason. George That's Mason, in VA. Dude. That's literally in VA. All right. Is all right. Any, okay. No, is that is literally in VA. All right. Let's. Is there anything else you want to say before we take another caller? We didn't get to the dads. Oh yeah. Why don't you just do a quick oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, ranking of uh yeah. Quick, quick ranking. Uh, so Rick, Rick is the. Uh, I think he'd be a cool mom. Rick's Mom's a dad. Rec is the uh, cool movie. uncle. You keep wow. getting the cool uncle, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, no, Rec, Rec just has that vibe of this place. He would give me my first year. I want you to suck my <laughs> titties, bro. <laughs> I feel like Rec would make a cool nephew. <laughs> 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 I'm on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, thanks for calling in, Two Chains. Thanks Appreciate for tuning you, in, bro. bro. Thanks for tuning in. All Peace, right, VA. Let's... Let's get a uh, another we got, caller. We got last one. Last uh, one. Katie Marie. Oh. Katie Marie. Katie Marie. Katie Marie. Katie Marie. Hello, hello. You hello? on the air? Hello. Hello. How, how you doing? Me? Hi, yep. Katie. Hi. Hi. What's up? Sorry, if you hear my son, he's playing next to me. Oh, okay. So oh, we'll make sure. Oh, your son, dude. Yeah, we'll make sure. Uh, we could ask him who he thinks is the best. He's a, he's a real nipple sucker, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> you are Latina. No. I think she's white. No. <laughs> I'm actually a mutt. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay What's okay, the mix? Okay. What's the mix? Wait, hold on. Uh, German, and, oh, okay. German, Nordic, and Puerto Rican. Oh, oh wow. Ooh. German, Nordic, and Puerto Rican. Nordic. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Having it's like, like Viking. That's a very beautiful combination. Yeah. Yeah. Platanos and is Nordic, Nordic is Viking, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Viking. Oh, wow. A lot of, lot of Viking content coming soon. 
<laughs> That's what your focus is. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. How Shout old is your son? Hala. How old is your son? How old is your son? He's almost three. Nice. What's his name? Joey. Did Joey. you did you breast did you breastfeed? <laughs> At what age do you, uh, is he done breastfeeding? Like, is that the age? No, uh, it really depends on everything. I I've guess been best I wasn't expecting to, like, to hear him talk about my boobs on this. I mean, you know, this is this is an all around type of with this a parenting podcast now, so we wanted yeah, to it's you know Mother's Day episode. It's a Mother's Day episode. Do you guys know when you guys breastfed till actually? Thirteen, I think. Twelve, thirteen. <laughs> Shut the... I don't remember. I don't I'm know. also an, I'm an I'm a student nurse, so the oldest I've ever seen was actually eleven years old. Eleven wow. years old. Wow, eleven years old. Mm. That's when I called the cops on my dad. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Who do you see as the uncle, father, and mother, Kate Murray? Oh God, um, I I gotta bring Tony into it because I know he's off to the side, but <laughs> I think he's the mom because he keeps all of you guys in line somewhat. Oh, Ooh. nah, but to- Tony, he keeps us online. Well, I would say Tony, <laughs> Tony is good, but I, he's not. He's he doesn't like. He's pretty quiet. I don't I don't know a quiet mom really. You know what she's I mean? the type of mom that you could get away with a lot of things. I think. Yo, you know what, you know what I mean? he is? You know when you're fucking <laughs> when you're getting disciplined by your mom or your dad? There's this random stranger just watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the random, <laughs> oh, random thing is like, like whispering, like, look at him. I feel like Tony's the mom that'll hit herself, like, this is what you did to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know those parents? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But they hit themselves. You made me, you made me hit myself. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think Tony's more of the mom that sits there and glares at you if you're starting to do something stupid. Oh, yeah, for sure. For nah, sure. Tony's going to be like, like... Immediately grab the stick that's next to the chair and be like, you really want to fuck up right now? Oh, like, don't do like, it, but just say nah, it? Nah, Tony's the one that's going to be Joey's like... Joey's scared of shit right now next door. <laughs> Tony's all high off fucking... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tony's like Eminem's mom, just always high <laughs> off of n- n- fucking oh Xanax God. and shit. Like, wow. Nah, Tony be like, uh... Do you think you're going to do that? <laughs> 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 well, I really wanted to say that like, Friday nights, I used to get in trouble listening to you guys' podcast at work. Mm. Oh, dad, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, but then they switched me off Friday night. Yeah, so thank I'm you so happy. much, Katie, for who, tuning who, in. Who, who who do you, so keep going on the ranking. Though. Keep keep going on the. Jeez. Although, uh, uh, probably what a the cool uncle will be wreck. Cool uncle wreck again. Three in a row. Wow. Three in a row. I'm fucking full house. What? What? <laughs> it's like the full on uncle. It's like the friend uncle. Like, right. Oh, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Person that's a friend. The one that the mom the slept actual... with and the dad doesn't know about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that uncle for sure. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, dad would probably be Rick and then. I'm the mom. Uh, dumb. I think you Do you want him as a uncle. as as a dad? Wait, wait, hold on. I would be what? The dad. I'm the dad. No. You... Sorry, I'm trying to listen while my son's talking at the same time. Put your son on. Uh, <laughs> Joey, you want to say hi? Yell hi. 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 What's your name? Oh, I thought that was him. So your name, dude? What's your name? Nope. Now you're gonna go hide in the corner. Okay. <laughs> oh. So cute. <laughs> yeah, he's got all three thousand of his cars out, and now I got people always like out. to talk about breastfeeding. What, what kind of cars are you talking feeding? about? <laughs> Hot Wheels. Yeah, uh, from Protein. the oldest one I have is from 1963 that he has. Do you have those racing stripes? I mean, those racing lanes, like the tracks. You know what I'm talking about? I have an actual track. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you are a great mom. That's the shit that I always wanted. You are a my great mom. Never Salute to you. Fucking got me because of his gambling debts. Uh, no, no, that's no, incredible. No, 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 no. I grew up. I'm kidding. I'm doing this nursing as a next profession. I used to be an auto mechanic, so him working wow. on cars. I'm like, all right, this is this, this is that. <laughs> that's awesome. So, Damn. That's a beautiful mother right there. You're, you're a cool mom. <laughs> How about JL? Someone said JL. Like, what would JL, JL would be? be? He'd be great at everything, man. He's just a great parent all around. Man. Yeah, he's a yeah. I he's definitely him. not a mom, though. Him. He'd drop his baby because of his wet ass hands. <laughs> oh, oh my! God. No, because of his wet ass hands, he'll oh never. My God. God. He'll never drop because he'll have a strong grip. Bro. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, Katie Marie. Thanks thank for you, calling. Katie Marie. In. Appreciate you. That was a short podcast. Are we? Are we already there? Thanks, Katie. He has to go eat with his moms. Uh, we could 
I mean, you gotta go soon too, right? Yeah, I gotta stream with Zoe. All right, let's take let's take one more. Are you cool with that, Tony? We got one more. Okay, we got Jazzy. Jazzy. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> this would have been a good one. We probably could have gone on forever on this one. Mm -hmm. hey. Jazzy, call uh -oh. me daddy. What's call up? me daddy. She's not gonna call you daddy, dude. Yo, hello. What up? up? Oh, Jazzy. What's up, guys? Jazzy, the guy who called me daddy. Fucking call me daddy, bro. They thought they were expecting a girl. Yo, this is actually Septa Token. Oh, what up, bro? How you doing, man? What's up, Septa Token? What's up, guys? I fuck with Septa Token. So, 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 make me happy, man. What's what? What's your what's your answer? Who's mom? Who's dad? Who's uncle? Who's uncle? Mom, dad, uncle. All right, yeah. first of all, all right. I'm going to say. All right, yeah. hold on, hold on. Before you can answer, real quick. Uh, picture Dumb's mom as a mom cooking for you. You will be malnourished. Dumb's mom? Wait, <laughs> <is that laughs> mom? <laughs> picture Rick as your dad. Look, he's going to uh. fucking headbutt your fucking. He's going to concave your torso. Well, Rick bro. would be a scary dad. He will for rip sure. you to shreds. Really? It's because of my dad, hair right bro. now. It's because of my hair. If it's I grew you're going to blame it on your hair? Look at yeah. his thumbs. <laughs> They're gonna gouge your eyes out. Oh my god. So what do you wanna be? You're gonna bring you to church, make you wear a yeah, suit. Yeah, so what do you wanna be? You wanna be a mom or dad? <laughs> Just give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what a cool uncle would say. Yeah. That's, That's what, what a cool, cool uncle, uncle would say, bro. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, this is like this is what a cool uncle is intro. <laughs> <laughs> the full house intro. Oh <laughs> Alright, my bad, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, my rankings. <laughs> Whatever yeah, yeah. you want to do. Uh, Sorry, we got carried yeah, away. I got, I got uh, I got Rick. Mm -hmm. Rick for the mom. Oh. Uh, I got Rick for the dad. Oh. I got ooh. dumb as the cool uncle. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm not mad. <laughs> yeah. I would actually, if that was the case, it would be very complicated, because my son would look up to dumb, and I'd be like. <laughs> no, 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 but then I, there'll be nothing to say because he's successful in what he does, and you know the cool uncle wins. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'll be a horrible dad and a horrible mom. You would be the you'd You'd cool be uncle amazing. is the job, bro. All right, let's do Fuck. a little intro. For, what's your? <laughs> All right, Rack, you go first. That's the uncle. <laughs> Rick, you go, you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the cool uncle would have. That's what the cool uncle would have. Alright, okay, okay, we're done. I got one more. <laughs> the basketball. Alright, alright. Uh, oh, was that what? That was it. Alright, thanks for calling. Thank you in, so guys. much, yeah, bro. One side, one side. Yeah, yeah, ask him to do one more. We have a debate. What do you guys think about Duck Bucky for breakfast? Duck Bucky for oh, breakfast? Yeah, do it, bro. Yeah. Do I mean, it. it's it's spicy. It's a very oh, spicy God. thing. I'll to tell eat. you why duck bookie for breakfast first is not thing, a good idea. First thing in the morning. I'll tell you why it's not. Why a good are idea. you afraid to suck the duck? <laughs> it's not a good idea it's too because spicy. Like 2 no, 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 no. It's, it's spicy, because man. listen. I'm good at listen. two a.m., but like, your stomach is already so shrunken in the morning that it's at a very small state, and then you put duck that's gonna expand once you put it in your stomach. It's not only gonna like. It's going to have spices in your esophagus tube, and then it's going to expand in your stomach, and you're going to be full for the whole day, dude. It's not It's right. not a good idea. That makes sense. I was going to make fun of that. <laughs> yeah. Now eat it. Suck the duck. <laughs> Thanks I, for calling. I'm thinking that it's a bad idea. She thought I was a good idea. I, but no, it's, it's a good idea. Wait, if your girl made it for you, then it's a great idea. I don't crave it. That shit is too much in the morning. That is, there, is there much. odeng in it? Is there little fish cakes in there or no? Oh god, no, no, just straight up. It's a just terrible up. idea, dude. Throw it away. <laughs> First of all, you should have old dang in a thug bookie anyways. I'm just like, kidding. I'm just kidding. In it. I'm just kidding. Yeah. It shouldn't be in it. No, it should be in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I don't, I don't even want it without it. Yeah, I want it. But dude, this is the thought, yo. If she made it for him in the morning, you know, it takes a long time you to just make that. Call his girlfriend a thought. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jeez, all right, man. Wow. I did not. Yeah. I did not. I did not say that. I did not say that. Not a father figure. Come on. Well, DM you Rick's address. You can find him and confront him. Yeah, you call this guy a father figure? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, dude. All right, thanks for calling, Thank you, brother. brother. All right. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Should we wrap it up or what? Dear mama. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for calling in. Once again, thank you to everybody in the chat room for Fun With Dumb Live. I want to thank Rick Lee right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what they said, you'd be the best dad or be the mom. Best, you know, dad. No, yeah. I think they said dad for me, okay, really. Yeah, yeah. So Rick would be make the best mom. Rick would be the cool uncle. 
Tony's the guy across the street. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing a kid getting whooped like, by his mom. Uh, like, I'm just like, nah, I don't want to be a parent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one who captured it on camera. Uh, right, right, he's the one right. getting interviewed on. The, he's the one getting interviewed on the news. Like, yeah, I saw it, and I was like, first was thing loud. I did was call the cops. <laughs> no, he's like, uh, I was just smoking some weed. <laughs> And then I see the guy go over there. Oh, streaming. And you know, I have to call social services on him. Now. <laughs> I make the great dad. And it's so weird. I'm honored to be called the dad, especially because I, I felt like I don't know if I could ever be a great dad. Dude, but. I think all of us would make great parents, man. I love both of you guys. Don't fucking look at me with those judging <laughs> eyes. I'm not. Yo, yeah, I got new to... music coming out. Oh, uh, what is it? Woo! On Wednesday. With uh, featuring, who? featuring who? Featuring who? Featuring who? Featuring who? Oh, that was supposed to be a surprise. Uh oh man! Uh, well, I no, just asked featuring who? Featuring the <laughs> the, the the dad and the, All right, the mom and the uncle. All right, featuring the year the ox is gonna be. We'll finally have a song together, so that's coming out Wednesday. So if, I don't know when you're gonna. Yeah, everybody, to this. follow, subscribe, drop <clears throat> some bits in here, do some donos. We on Twitch. Um, Love you. You know I could buy some meals for the squad. Woo. And uh, <laughs> also thank you to everybody in the chat, Makizi, Jack K. Uh, most high, drunken, brutal, mellow, Sarah, be sleepy, drunken monkey, goddess Marty, Marvay. two chains. We saw you earlier, Rennie Six, Don, Don, Blue Courtney. Mage, Sophia, Sophia, always tuning in. Don, 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 Gil Don. Slayer, we see you. Thank Dine you, Zorox. What? Kayla Jesus Mer Christ. What am I for? Tune in next week for the no another episode of Fun with Dumb. Of course, Fun with Dumb drops John, every Wednesday on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash fun with dumb. Check out the whole video there on Wednesday. And we'll see you Friday for um, uh, uh, Dumb World. Tell your mom I love her. Oh, and I'm going to have these two guys on, on set on Dumb World. It's going to be a fun one because they're going to be here in the room. We're going to have them do performances, live performances. Should we eat? We're gonna do a mukbang. Yeah, hey. we're gonna do a mukbang. What, what y'all want us to eat? And so show love. It's our last day of being on the front page of Twitch too, so it's gonna be fun. Tune in next week for another episode of Fun with Dumb Peace. I'm gonna be on the last page. Peace.